not that's that's the reality. So we have to to go through through that, like many teams. Of course, Theo is an important player for us. We've, we've been played, like you said, without number seven games or something. So Theo already did not play for three or four games, Euroleague games, but also we have Vete Bay. You know, we, we kind of forget what we have also in between. We have a very tough uh, league over there in, in Vete Bay, so with tough schedule and tough trips and tough opponents. So it's not a, a piece of cake. You know, you guys, with all the respect, you, you talk about Euroleague, but we have also in between some tough games to deal with. So we did deal, and uh, the team is built to, to go through the obstacles, and that's, that's what we try to do. The first match against Javier in Moscow, the pretty intense fight till the end. What match scenario you expect here in Konas? Actually, I would be a centerist if I was expecting something, but I, uh, definitely uh, I'm expecting a fight. I mean, as I said in my quotes uh, uh, in Euroleague side, uh, Zalgiris is a team that um, uh, has, you know, a high spirit of fighting uh, all the games. Um, they, they have an extra motivation against the European champion, for sure, as all the teams. They're getting motivated in front of their amazing crowd. Uh, so there are a lot of facts that we expect to, to be a tough game. So we have a quality as well as a team, though, and we're kind of ready to, to play that game. What are the key aspects of Sharkiris that could be dangerous for your team? Well, a lot of aspects. It's not only one. First of all, they have a very well-established team game. They move the ball well, they're, they're fighting on boards, definitely they're one of the best rebounding teams, which we out-rebound them in the game one, which is also a good uh, thing. But uh, as I said, there are a lot of a lot of things, not only one. We cannot uh, just you know put out one fact and say that this is the, the, the thing. So there are a lot of good creators, uh, an inside game, outside game, from the forwards, from the power forwards, playing small ball, playing big ball. So after three losses, Ceska grabbed two wins. Can you say that the team is back on its normal rhythm? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, we got a tough moment, but uh, we came back and now we, we need to stay on this rhythm, you know, keep working hard and just play aggressive like, like we did this, this last few games, you know. Today, guys, you will be playing without Theo, so does that mean that you will have more responsibility on the offense? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we miss uh, Milos already two games, two or three games. We miss Corey against two. Now Corey is back in the team, but uh, we know exactly what we need to do. So uh, even if we miss some player, we need to, to keep working and, and that's it. What strengths of Jalgiris you see in this upcoming game? Uh, it will be a tough game. Uh, they have a good team, uh, they play good basketball and they play really aggressive. So we need to be ready to, to fight. A guy, of course, you know, Leo Westerman is playing Jalgiris. How do you like his game this season? Uh, he's a good player, you know. Uh, he's the kind of player who won't learn every day. And uh, I think he's a perfect player for this kind of team with, uh, with this coach. And, uh, you know, he controls the game. This is important uh, for a team. And that's it.